Good morning. Today is an exciting day. I'm here at Table Rock State Park in South Carolina where I'm going to be starting a through hike and I'm going to be meeting another YouTuber that I've been watching for quite some time. So I just popped into the visitor center to grab my permit. The ranger was super friendly and helpful. Uh, so I'm going to get on my way to get shoveled over to Oconee State Park, where I'm going to be starting my hike. What's up, y'all? I have made it to Oconee State Park, the starting point of the Foothills Trail, thanks to the gracious help of my friend Liz from Let's Go Liz, who volunteered to shuttle me from Table Rock to Oconee. Again, we're here at the starting point and we're about to get going. All right, we're gonna skip Hidden Falls because Liz says it's a terrible waterfall. <laughs> That's why it's helpful to have a local guy. Check out my video, five worst waterfalls, <laughs> Hidden Falls. My goal was to finish the Foothills Trail in five days, so I'd need to hike about 15 miles per day to accomplish that. Because the park office at Table Rock didn't open until 8, it was close to 10 by the time we got started on the trail. With the days growing shorter and the beauty of the autumn color overtaking the forest, I'd have my work cut out for me when it came to staying on pace. We are about four and a half miles in, and that means I have a little over 71 miles left to go. At this point, I'm going to bid farewell to my friend Liz, uh, and I thank her again for being so gracious as to be my shuttle service for the trail. I'm gonna ask Liz if she has any last final words of advice for me. Final words of advice for the Foothills Trail? They just keep walking, enjoy the views. It's a great trail. All right, thanks a lot, Liz. Little road crossing here.
tough to see through the trees, but this is Licklog Falls. Much more impressive than it looks on camera. So enjoyed that section of trail along the Chatuga River with uh, Pig Pine Falls and Lick Log Falls. Really enjoying the solitude out here. Seeing maybe a dozen other people throughout the course of the day, but traffic has been uh, pretty well spaced out. Mostly I'm just listening to the birds and the bugs. So I'm just passing by the Sims Field campsite. Some really nice sights down here along the river. Nice fire pits as well. Looks like somebody actually left a fire smoldering here, which I have no idea why you would need to do when you're literally right beside the river. No need to carry too much water out here on the trail. The water sources have been plentiful and uh, cool and running quickly. And uh, this one behind me is no exception. So I really enjoyed that section along the Chatuga River. Absolutely beautiful views. At this stage, we're climbing up and away from said river, probably a couple miles away from tonight's campsite. The man, the myth, the legend of the Foothills Trail.
Foothills Trail is famous for its steps. Though I was chasing daylight when I made it, I crossed the 15 mile mark and settled in for the evening. Burrell's Ford is close to a local trailhead, and though I could see signs that the area is frequently used, I had my pick of sights along the river, and neither saw nor heard from anyone for the remainder of this Sunday night. enjoyed following day one on the foothills trail subscribe to catch the rest of the journey and please check out some of my other adventures out on trail